Hello there everybody, today I'm going to be doing the last LEGO Hero Factory Savage Planet review, be it combiner or not. This is a combiner, and it's the combiner of Bulk 3.0 and Ferno 3.0, and you can see parts of it um, extruding from behind the canisters, but I don't think you really care about that. Speaking of canisters, click either one of these to see those individual set reviews. I'm not going to go over parts in this certain video, because I've already looked at them in those reviews. So, if you haven't seen them, go click, and you can see all of the new parts, mostly included in this combiner, in detail. So, now that we've looked at that, we've already seen the canisters, so let's put those aside. No parts, no packaging, let's just get onto the figure. Now this figure, unlike the last combiner that I looked at, I kept sniffing in that review. Sorry for that, I am still ill, but I've prepared myself this time. <laughs> Here it is, though. Compared to the last one, it's a good it's a good combiner. I like this. I prefer this and the Rocker plus Stormer combiner to, definitely, to the Stringer and Next one, and to the 2.0 combiners. I think they've put a bit more effort into these. They've combined parts uh, more regularly. Whereas, with this guy... I just think the upper half of his body just looks like a beefed up stringer and the lower half just looks like elongated legs from necks. So it was really the parts of each set were really separate in that combiner, but this they've mixed everything together pretty well. And I like some of the techniques that they've used. So building experience, techniques and that is pretty good. I mean, there's some things that I didn't notice before, like they've used these are uh, armor plates that we got in bulk, along with the little exo force arms, as extra cladding on top of the armor here. So it beefs him up a bit, as you can see from the side. It looks nice, and um, the arms, I like how they've used, uh, like of how they did it on Nitro Blast, they've used one of these little dagger pieces as a wrist blade. I think it's a bit more effective than using the, these pieces like they did in bulk. Got another one on the other side. So, those things in, during the building experience were pretty good. And I actually didn't notice that they'd used wings on the back here. So these extra um, appendages on the back, they're actually useful in, these, in this combiner, whereas in the others, they were just random uh, limbs. I don't know if you, you could even call them limbs, coming off the backs just to use up parts. But here they actually have a use. And they can... Uh, articulate the uh, wings very well, there's a lot of range of motion, but we're not on playability yet. But the rest of him, the legs are just elongated hero legs, but they look pretty good. It was quite fun snapping all the armor onto them and stuff. Uh, the arms, pretty basic in building. I like the wrist blades, but mm, the building isn't that great. The body, I'm glad it isn't just a clone of Furnos, at least, but it is basic still very basic. And these things here, they are a nice addition, I mean I like these. So, building experience, pretty unoriginal, but some nice little tidbits used along the way. So, you can't really expect a very original build with combiners, you only have parts of other sets to use. So, for this set, by combiner standards, it's pretty good. I like the little additions that they used. So, now on to uh, playability and posability. He can go into all sorts of positions, but one thing I don't like is, since these are just attached on straight, using the tiny little, little pins, they can't move with the legs, so if the leg bends, they're just sticking out like this. You can fold, what I like to do is just fold the exo-force arms down, and a bit of the space there is eradicated, but it still looks rather strange sticking out like that. Especially when you do this, and it's just randomly dangling on the side there. But, I digress. Uh, the articulation is still good. Snap that back on. It is really fun snapping all the things together on with this uh, new system. But back on to uh, playability. It's good, you can get him in all sorts of poses despite the uh, 
extra armor looking out of place. Have him in a nice position like that. Looks very big against this camera. You can also pose the arms pretty well despite this huge plate on this arm. The other arm doesn't suffer from that as much. The articulations around the same though. The head can move pretty well, it's just Ferno's head, obviously. And the wings are much more articulated than on uh, Ferno himself. But one thing I find it hard to hard to construe here is these these fists. They've just randomly although these are uh, excretions on the back here, these things just popping out. They actually have a purpose with the wings. They give them a lot of rain a big range of motion. But the fists here, I'm sure these are just to use up parts. I mean, especially, they're not even the same colour. Maybe they should have just used red fists for both hands and then had silver ones here. Or better yet, not use them at all. They look very out of place. Why would you have hands near, near wings on your back? Really makes no sense. But overall, I think this is a nice combiner set. You can get him in very nice poses. He looks like a very sleek figure. Looks like you can put up a fight. But the other combiners Let's see if I can get them all on camera here. And sum up Savage Planet quickly since this is the last review that I'll do with anything to do with the line. I'll just quickly address my thoughts. They look about the same height, these combiners, but the Rocker Plus Stormer one is a bit shorter if you stretch all the limbs out completely. So, here are the combiners. I won't get all the villains down, it would take too much time. But my thoughts, my overall thoughts on these is I really like the Savage Planet line, especially with the animal aspects, the animal camouflage that they incorporated into the heroes, and the villains' uh, beast-esque elements are very nice. I like uh, non-humanoid figures. And the big sets like the Witch Doctor, Rocket XL, and Scorpio, I think they did a good job with them. So the whole line is pr pretty good, I really liked it. So, this is me signing out with my final Savage Planet review. Bye guys.